So we have finally made it. We won the NBA championship and we are here in the offseason. Offseason of 2022. This is the offseason of... Can I actually... I can't see who is free agent, can I? But the NBA draft, we do have the 16th pick. So I am going to sim to use a pick. Now, obviously, this is my league. If you didn't know, this is an actual my career. By the way, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I never forgot to say that. Be sure to subscribe on the road to 1,000 subscribers halfway there. I make NBA content. I've been doing it every other day. I might go back there every single day. I don't know yet. I'm going to be honest with you. Every other day has been kind of fine. So, as of now, I'm, I'm doing every other day. But, we're back with this Harold Johnson My Career. We mainly do My Career on this channel, even though the My Careers are in my league. You know what I mean. It's literally the same exact thing, except it's more fun because I could get to control everything. 75 overall, 24th. But we don't care about the draft. This is My Career. We'll sign him, obviously. Uh, I'm, I don't really care about team player options. Whatever the team wants to do, they're going to do, and they... And they obviously want to bring back Tyler Hero, so let them do it. Whatever the team wants to do, the team does. I probably should have did that for the draft. I hit start. Why is this not working? Oh, KD actually accepted his player option. Um, Zion had a team option. Kyrie is a free agent. Uh, we probably don't even have the money to go after him, to be honest with you. Tyler Hero, we got his team option. Really? Uh, wow, KD accepted, but Kyrie didn't. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. Qualifying offers, they want to offer Kendrick Nunn, obviously. I want to know how much money he's going to want. Because if he wants, like, over 20 mil, I don't know, 20 mil for someone to come off the bench. So let's see. Free agency. Obviously, Luka Doncic. Bird rights. We have a Mitchell Robinson. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to bring him back. If we do, we are going to trade him. And Kendrick Nunn does want 21 mil. Why is Kendrick Nunn getting 2 mil? No, 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 no. I you're, you'll see the clip. I just signed this man for... Five years, 19 mil. I'm going to change his contract to that. Because 2K for some... And he has no trade. No, that's not what I signed him to. Because 2K for some reason has this glitch where you offer someone a contract. And they'll randomly get like an offer. Like a, a $1 million offer for one year with no trade clause. I don't get it. So I'm going to give him the contract that I gave him. Which was a five year with the player option, 19 mil. That's what he's getting because that's what he wanted. Okay, so we brought back Mitchell Robinson for the max but he is going to get traded we don't need him on the team anymore we are going to trade him to get some bench depth on this team so i'm not sure who needs a center but i'm looking for bench depth like that trade is atrocious <laughs> why offer me that like evan fournier would actually that's actually a decent trade um so that's actually same thing with this one that's decent if i would want a bit more that's just ridiculous <laughs> I'm not trying to do trades that are just going to make us overpowered, bro. Because actually, as of now, our team isn't that great. Like, the starting five is amazing. But the bench only has, like, Kendrick Nunn and a 79 overall, like, third-year player who, who averaged, like, five points on 30% shooting. So the team's not very good. Not, not, hey, there's, there he is. Yeah, we, we, this is who we got for Hassan Whiteside. He averaged three points on 40% shooting. So, yeah, that, that's the best we could get for him. But... I'm really looking for bench depth, not making too much money. Like, Jaden McDaniels. That that doesn't... Actually, that would make sense for the Blazers. Honestly. do Because I don't think they have Nurkic. They have no one. <laughs> they have absolutely no one. So they would be getting their big three with the lockdown center, who's only 24. They're trading their young guy, but, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. They're giving us Dexter Clark. They can't really give us anything else. So that Blazers trade is actually really, really nice. I might do that Blazers trade. Because there's really no other trades that entice me like that one. The only other trade would be like this Evan Fournier one. But I like that Blazers trade. Yeah, because Nurkic is on the Raptors. I guess he signed with them. I think I'm going to do that Blazers trade. We bring in a nice bench power forward. And Jaden McDaniel is very young. He could be our starting power forward, actually. Because I was going to put Derrick Jones Jr. there, but Jaden McDaniels could slide. They're both the same overall, so it depends on player, prog um, player progression. But, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this trade. That's a good trade for both teams, honestly. So, I'm not sure what his contract situation is. I actually should have looked at that. Um, One year, does he have team? Please tell me he has a team option, because he does have a team option. We're going to be in cap hell, depending on how long this series goes on for because we're going to be going into, what, Harold's fourth year? We're, yeah, we're going into his fourth year. And it's going to be his... Is it going to be a contract year? 
I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to be a contract year. I think it's going to be a second to last contract year. Harold's already 25. So, it's going to be interesting. We're trying to sign Jimmy to an extension for like 36 mil. Uh, he wanted one. We're going to have to sign Tyler Hero. So, so far, this team's looking like it's going to be starting lineup of Tyler Hero, Butler, me, um, either McDaniels or Derek Jones, and bam. So, we need, we need to get a backup center. So, I don't know why it says... Like, can you give me affordable, please? All right, whatever. I'm going to look for affordable centers. So let's go to sign players. Doncic, obviously, back with the Mavericks. Aiton, back with the Suns. Bagley, back with the Kings. Hawks get Trey Young back. Kyrie goes back to the Nets. Shea goes back to the Thunder. Only for two years. Zach Levine, back with the Bulls. Nurkic to the Raptors, of course. Really nothing. Nothing surprising. Everyone's really going back. So bonus to the Knicks. Okay, that's interesting. Sponus to the Knicks. Sexton to the Nuggets. So that's what... But Sexton was their shooting guard. So they drafted a point guard to play against Darius Garland. But they let Sexton go. I Cavs, what are you doing, Cleveland? What is Cleveland doing? The Nuggets get a baller in Colin Sexton, man. Wow. Covington goes to the Cavs. So they replaced Colin Sexton with Robert Covington. Robert Covington. Uh, Mikel goes to the Hornets. TJ Warren goes to the Cavs. What are the Cavs doing with all these forwards? Uh, Pacers get Knox. Bogged down to the Clippers. Now we're starting to see movement here. Just move. If you got no one, just move. It's all I want to see some movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. Um, insert that ninja clip, please. And that's really it for the big signing. We're just waiting for Chris Paul. So... That's actually interesting that some of those players like Colin Sexton moved. Harold is still at a 98 overall. I don't remember what overall he was when we started this series, but I don't believe it was in the 90s. I have a feeling it was an 86, but I might be wrong. But he's up to a 98 overall at the age of 25. Jimmy Butler's up to a 95, which really caught me by surprise. I did not know he was that high of an overall. Was he? I think he was a 90 when we joined the team. I think. But at age 32, he's only getting better after having insane playoffs. Um, Heroes 94 overall. Bam out of bio goes up to a 92. Such a good team, such a good young team. Then it takes a tip off at Kenshin Noah in 84, but he is going to be our sixth man. Uh, he's going to be getting a lot more minutes, so hopefully he goes up from 11 points a game because he doesn't have to share the ball with um, Chris Paul. He shot 100% from the free throw line last season. How many free throws did he take? 138 free throws. He only played 66 games, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. Derek Jones Jr. and Jalen McDaniels, or Jaden, I'm sorry, are gonna have to fight are gonna fight for that starting spot. Jaden is a much, much taller player than Derek Jones. So that's gonna be an interesting battle. I'm gonna have to move Bam back to the center position, so his overall is actually gonna drop. So one of them is gonna be fighting for the power forward position. Um Jaden McDaniels is a better shooter, but um, Derek Jones Jr. is a better defender, so that's going to be interesting. Then we got this Byers guy we got in the um, Son Whiteside trade. We signed Jared Terrell to a one year. I think it's a team option, maybe. Uh, Myers Leonard to be the backup. Inter it's going to be an interesting season. It's going to be we're not as OP as we were last season because we had a fire starting lineup and like 90 overalls on the bench, but we lost them all because we couldn't keep them. So I want to see where Chris Paul signed. I can actually go to roster and go to point guards. Let's go to point guards. Because he's actually still like a high overall. Chris Paul is in Denver. That's nice. That's really nice. So they got a Chris Paul, Colin Sexton, this guy. I'm not saying his name, but I do know who he is. TJ Leaf and Nicole Jokic with Jamal Murray off the bench. That team is such a mess. But I actually need to change Bam to a center. We're going to change him back to a center. He goes down to an 88. Wow. I'm not going to change his overall. He's an 88. He's an 88. So Bam is back to being a center. And our starting lineup is going to not be this. I'm not going to be running power forward. Although this could be a potential lineup. I was thinking about it. We could potentially run this lineup. So that is what the team is looking like. I have this game plan for the... Is it the same? It's actually the same, okay. Uh, it's just colored in. I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I need to fix this because it's not right. So we got Kendrick Nunn, Jared Terrell, this guy, and Jared McDan- Jaden. Where did I get Jared from? 
I was calling him Jalen. Then I was calling him Jared. Hits Jaden. Jaden McDaniels. Let me get it right. There we go. Death lineup. Definitely not this. It, death lineup is me at power forward, not Myers at center. And bam, this is our death lineup right here. This team is ridiculous. We'll go to the power rankings. We are not even number one. The Lakers who missed out on the playoffs are number one. Austin Rivers, Alonzo Trier. Remember him? Damn, he fell off. LeBron at 99 overall at the age of 37. Kyle Kuzma in AD. The overalls are already like skewed a bit because Kyle Kuzma is in 89. I started this file very, very long time ago. I don't even remember when I started it. But obviously some of the overalls are different. The Grizzlies are the um, second in the power rankings. That's interesting. We are third. Alright, fine. Our first game will be up against the stacked Grizzlies team with John Moran, Anthony Edwards, and Jaron Jackson. So that's going to be a fun way to start it off. And their bench is stacked. That's going to be fun. Then we get to face this Blazers team with their good friend Mitchell Robinson. They ended up filling the bench with Malik Monk. Thomas Bryant, Shabazz is back. They filled, they they did good with their bench. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. Sorry there was no gameplay in this video. Sorry if it might be a short video. But I just want to get the offseason done with. Next episode or next video you see will be Gerald Johnson in the second round of the playoffs. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.